when we're talking about HARP, we're talking about over the horizon radar, satellites, the police antennas, cable TV, print, electromagnetic, the cell phone towers, cell phones. Uh, these these are all integrated and overlapping, and, and even the electrical grid in our houses, the pipes, iron pipes coming into our houses, transmit uh, electromagnetic frequencies, in, including Google and the Internet and uh, whatever. And, and so you can't separate them. People don't realize that the whole grid that makes our life comfortable and our homes comfortable has all been weaponized to be used against us. And that's exactly what Colonel John Alexander and people like him did. They devised ways to uh, to take the existing infrastructure and weaponize it without having to um, construct a whole new infrastructure for the United States, which would be horribly, horribly expensive. So they just took what they had and uh, modified it. You say the cable TV and the cell phone towers. Comcast, especially. Yeah, yeah, I exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah. Comcast being a company in the U.S., but here in but here in Canada, there there's the equivalent. What you're saying, it's not that what's on the cable TV will be mind controlling us, although that's true also. It's that the electromagnetic frequencies that the cable TV is emanating, the, that is used as a carrier wave for messages which are beamed directly into our minds. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that's right. Could you talk more about that, how we know about that and how these technologies were developed and how we know that all, all of this is happening? Well, they just go back to simple physical principles. Um, and, for instance, we've known since the fir first nuclear bomb test at, at Bikini that, um, that electromagnetic frequencies or pulses would uh, disrupt thinking and uh, the transmission of electromagnetic frequencies, radio frequencies. And when the bombs in Bikini were exploded, uh, and above water and an underwater nuclear bomb, the electromagnetic pulse completely disordered the Van Allen belts, which is the Earth's magnetic field, and other aspects of the atmosphere. And so the Navy uh, ships were sitting there for weeks or a week um, out in the ocean. They couldn't go anywhere because they couldn't communicate. Um, they had disturbed the atmosphere the confirmation of the atmosphere so much that they couldn't bounce radio waves off of layers in the atmosphere. So, um, so they immediately said, well, how can we weaponize that? And so today we have EMF bombs that emit electromagnetic pulses that will be transmitted down through any conductive um, uh, system that goes down into underground bunkers and so we're using that electromagnetic pulse as a weapon uh, in battles of warfare. Now they can uh, transmit them down through pipes into underground bunkers or um, e e electrical conduits or communication lines or whatever and so um, They've just basically taken the same principle and turned it to the whole civilian sector in the United States so they can transmit these pulses or these uh, frequencies on carrier signals. Anything that conducts electricity in or out of your house is being used as a weapon uh, or it's been weaponized so it can be used against the civilian population. So while we're sleeping, particularly later in the night or very early in the morning when our, where our brains are in their REM uh, mode. They're the most susceptible to these kinds of transmissions. And um, that's uh, when the ELF extra low frequency and ultra low frequency uh, transmissions are broadcast 
and they can be from HARP, they can be from Gwen Towers, which are all over the United States, um, or they can be transmitted from police towers, cell phone towers, through our phone lines, into our bedroom, uh, through our radios, anything that has a microphone, through our, trans, uh, our computers, um, uh, the speakers in our room, um, through cable, into our television sets in our bedroom. Um, it's just uh, very, very easy. It's just that people are unsuspecting. And it even comes through the, the lights and um, even um, um, not utilities, but things like toasters or, or microwave ovens or whatever. So um, many We're an antenna. Our body is an antenna. We transmit and we receive frequencies. So anything they transmit into your home, your body can pick up because it's an antenna. Emotions or programs that they're transmitting um, through these fields are part of a larger social control program. Social control, and they're also used for political control on dissenters or obstructionists. Uh, types of people or uh, change agents I would call you and I change agents that's what they were developed for transmissions and mood control and mind control were used on members of the European Parliament who opposed US policies and they were being so harassed these technologies that the European Parliament commissioned two independent reports and indeed that's exactly what was happening 